So our first presenter used to do improv on the West Coast, moved to Penn State, hopefully find a new improv troupe. He's going to bring you some economic stand-up akin to sort of a weekend update, year in review kind of thing. And fun fact, he's the only economist I know that Paul Krugman mistook for a motivational speaker. <laughs> so please welcome James Tierney with Was That Rational? The American Economic Year in Review. Wow, I did not know that was what was going to be said about me. Uh, awesome. I want to start by thanking Jody for organizing, putting in a ton of work for, and asking me to participate in this year's Econ Humor Session, so we should give her a round of applause. And by ask, I obviously mean get me drunk and uh, convince me I was funny and then tell me I would be participating in this year's Econ Humor Session. So, thank you very much. Uh, I really had no idea what I was going to do, um, and she said I needed to have a title. So, uh, this is me, I'm James Tierney. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter so I can get to 1,000, which I've been trying to do for like two years, and I haven't been there yet. And so I came up with the name, Was That Rational? The American Economic Year in Review. A little play on words. Um, it's not really anything to do with rationality. Uh, so if you came here for rational thinking or rationality, I apologize. But like a lot of you guys do at this meeting, uh, I had to come up with a creative title so you would show up. <laughs> it's pretty true. It's very true. Uh, so before I start, I also want to thank the AEAs for a few things. First, for supporting this economics humor session, giving us a place to come and laugh after a couple of long days of interviewing. So let's give them a round of applause for that. Uh, and for number two, for sending me multiple emails asking me to upload a full text paper for this session, right? <laughs> Some of you probably got this, yeah. Um, I'm sorry, but I don't think... Uh, a, a session, a presentation that's going to make fun of Justin Wolfer's haircut, uh, going to have a whole bunch of memes, uh, and it's going to make fun of some job market candidates. It's really, it's really what they wanted. All right. With the thank yous out of the way, I want to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend about seven minutes, and it's going to be a mashup between Saturday Night Live's uh, weekend update and a Jimmy Fallon monologue type thing. So all of the headlines that I'll be using are real headlines I pulled from the internet. Uh, the jokes, they're not real. <laughs> they're, they're jokes. Uh, so without further ado, here is the 2014 American Economic Year in Review. On January 1st, recreational marijuana shops opened up in Colorado. We have a libertarian in the front row, I see that. <laughs> now this allows economist professors like myself to use weed examples in class without being labeled as trying too hard to be cool or a stoner. <laughs> Pretty much good. On January 6th, Janet Yellen was confirmed by Congress as the first chairwoman of the Federal Reserve Board of Governors. Big news, big news, right? <laughs> textbook publishers rejoiced as they began printing new editions of textbooks that replaced chairman with chairwoman. It's true, it's true, it's true. Uh, on February 22nd, the world's most wanted man, the drug cartel kingpin El Chapo Guzman, was apprehended in the resort town of Mazatlan, Mexico. He was. After hearing this news, one of the top econ job market candidates whimpered, I thought I was the world's most wanted man. <laughs> uh, some of you may have interviewed this person today. Uh, some macro humor for those of you. Uh, on March 11th, Sri Lanka said it was searching for a new hangman after the latest recruit got upset on seeing the gallows for the first time and quit. The job posting says they are searching for someone who will not get scared and pisserides their pants on the job. 
Not enough search economists in here. <laughs> On June 2nd, a three-month-old puppy was blamed for driving a family car into a Massachusetts pond. It's very sad, very sad. The puppy was charged with a DUI when officers determined he had one too many animal spirits. <laughs> it's really dumb. I'm sorry. That's, that's a really bad one. That's, that's really bad. Cute picture. It's a cute picture. <laughs> on August 29th, again, these are all true stories. A moratorium on U.S. adult sex film productions was lifted after just 24 hours when a performer's initial HIV test result proved to be a false positive. I believe this is what economists call type 1 erotica. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't know, I don't know what that came. Okay. On October 12th, a parrot that spoke English with a British accent went missing for four years, only to return speaking Spanish and asking for someone named Larry. True story. In similar news, I went to grad school for four years, only to return speaking a language I really didn't understand, and I was asking for someone named Mommy. <laughs> Something hopefully you all know. On October 13th, French economist Jean Tirole won the Nobel Prize in Economics. Or, as all the job market candidates that are trying to impress you in interviews will say, actually, that's the Sphergis Riksbank Prize in Economic Sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel. <laughs> it's true. I ran into too many of those people. I'm sure you're all aware of the Nobel Prize. Hopefully everyone's aware of the Nobel Prize. But you know that uh, we're also going to give out some other awards tonight uh, for economists. They, they're gonna, we're going to give out some econ superlatives. So if you remember what superlatives are from high school, it's like voted most likely to succeed or best hairdo or any of that stuff. And so we're going to give out a couple uh, tonight, including one to myself. I didn't know I was going to get it. But we're going to start with someone you already know. Nobel Prize winner, Jean Tirole. He was voted most likely to be the love child of Food Network's Alton Brown and the Grinch. <laughs> if you don't know who those are, take a quick look. There they are. <laughs> I didn't know they gave an award for that, but I guess they do. Uh, Tyler Cohen, professor of economics, George Mason University. Uh, he was voted most likely to not give a damn about picture day. I actually stopped by the Mars Revolution University booth today, uh, and uh, Alex Tabrak told me that this was his big smile when they asked him. <laughs> uh, we have Thomas Piketty, well, know him, professor at the Paris School of Economics. He was voted most likely not to believe you read his entire book. That's, <laughs> that's very true. Uh, we have Joseph Stiglitz here. He was voted most likely to be a mall Santa. <laughs> a good award, I think. Right. We have Justin Wolfers and Betsy Stevenson. Right. They were voted most likely to have the same hairstyle as their partner, <laughs> narrowly beating out Janet Yellen and George Akerlof. <laughs> narrowly, it was a close vote. It's a very close vote. And to end this year in review, we have James Tierney, lecturer at Penn State University, begging you to be his Twitter follower. He was voted most likely to never have a job in economics again after this presentation. Thank you guys very much. I hope you have a great night. Let's bring Jody back up. Isn't it